Hello and welcome to Spanish Basics. In this module, I'll be speaking to you about the conditional perfect tense. Now the topics will be as follows. I'll begin with a slide on context, and then I'll follow that with some conjugation examples. The conditional perfect tense, which is in Spanish referred to as potencial compuesto, is a past tense, but it's also called condicional compuesto. It describes an action in the past that would have occurred if another event had occurred. The conditional perfect is also used to indicate conjecture or likelihood of a past event. It is called a compound tense because the conjugation requires the verb haber in a conditional tense plus a past participle of the main verb. Now, the conditional conjugation of haber is as follows. Yo habría, I would have, tú habrías, you would have, él, ella, usted habría, nosotros habríamos, vosotros habríais, ellos, ellas, ustedes habrían. When habría is used alone, it means there would be. Now, the conjugation format is as follows. We take the conditional of haber, and then we follow that with the past participle. For those that need to review, the past participles are reviewed in module 14. Now, some examples of a conditional action in the past are as follows. I would have graduated, but I fell ill. Me habría graduado, pero me enfermé. I would have cooked dinner if I came early. Habría preparado la cena si hubiera venido temprano. He would have slept, but the phone rang. Habría dormido, pero sonó el teléfono. Now, examples to indicate conjecture or likelihood of a past event are as follows. It must have been dark when they left. Habría sido oscuro cuando se fueron. Could John have been there? Habría sido Juan ahí? At this point, we finish this module, but before we leave, I'd like to give you a refrain or a proverb. Más apaga la buena palabra que caldera de agua. A good word quenches more than a cauldron of water. In other words, a soft answer turneth away wrath. Well, thank you for watching Spanish Basics. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.